My name's Cameron Carlson. I'm here with AnimeLocation.tv. I have with me Mr. James Hatton. How are you doing? I am doing well, sir. It is good to be back. And we are at Segway Con 2012. Yes, we are. All right. So it's only been a few months since the last time we got the chance to talk to you. at Matsuricon 2012. How have you been? I've been very, very good. It's been, um, this is my wind down. So from Matsuri to here, Segway is my last con of the year. So I now get to take a break, reduce, get ready for new books, get ready for new things. Um, but it has been a really good year. Cool. And uh, now recently the East Coast was affected by uh, Hurricane Sandy. Um, how did that affect you guys, you know, being right there in New Jersey, taking the brunt of it? Um, I will say this. We have some problems in our apartment. We have a, we have a Rorschach test uh, of a coffee stain on our ceiling, but invariably we still have a home. It didn't float off into the ocean like a lot of places. So whereas I could complain, I won't complain too, too much. We did okay. So everything's good with you guys? Yeah, and, and I can still make comics, and that's really all that matters. Cool. Uh, so you, now you're approaching 10 years as a webcomic artist. How does that feel? I mean, when you started, you're like, all right, I just drew a dot and did some writing and it seemed to have gone over well, but now 10 years, it's, it's just a big accomplishment on your part. A decade of dots. Um, yes, I will be hitting a decade on Christmas. Actually, uh, a de that'll be 10 years since I bought inhislikeness.com and it launched the first strip. Uh, I was at a show, I guess about a year ago, and they were having a Veterans of Web Comics panel, and I'm sitting at my table, and somebody walks up and goes, Jamie, the Veterans panel's up. I'm like, I'm a veteran? <laughs> yeah, Web Comics have only been around maybe 20 years at this point. You've been here almost half of them. Yes, you're a veteran. Oh, God. But um, it's phenomenal. I'm planning on doing a big markety attack blitz come next month to, to celebrate next year as the, the year of the dot. Uh, so I'm telling you guys first, the year of the dot begins, 2013, if we're still here. Uh, <laughs> but it's been, it's been amazing just doing conventions and getting to guest shows and all of the weird and wacky crazy stories that I've had. Have, it's, I would not give a minute of it away. It's been fantastic. Cool. And uh, now conventions are a unique setting for different ideas and thoughts. And uh, sometimes you guys get to um, sometimes take these events and make them into a comic. Have you ever had the opportunity to do that? Um, a lot with me, since since my stuff comes from mythology and it comes from kind of already existing characters that I twist, I would definitely say we're not specific stories have ever appeared. Um, little quotes have, and I wouldn't be I would be an utter liar if the attitudes and various kind of oddball characters you meet haven't been absorbed into some of my characters. I mean, even if you look at some of the older comics where Chris, the eternal fanboy, is that's. That really, he's really, when I first started writing him, he was supposed to be the, the, the typical, like all these folks are walking around. There's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of stereotypings that are done and I was trying to embody those. So where I may not tell con stories like some other comics, I know for a fact that some of the lines or quotes or mannerisms have appeared. And it's just, it's hard not to, given that I do these things, you know, about 10, 12 weekends out of a year, if not more. Okay, and uh, now we mentioned in your last interview that you started the website uh, foxhole.com. How's that going for you since that's your ADD creative outlet? Slowly. Um, I got very, very distracted. I was working, I had a lot of other secondary jobs this past year. I worked at a haunt and I worked, um, I just, I do a lot. Uh, and then we had the, the flood and all, so it took a minor backseat, but I'm back to writing. Um, I see that this is NaNoWriMo month for a lot of people, so that gives me like, oh, you guys are working on a 20,000 word story. I'm gonna work on a short story and a goofball Photoshop and I'll throw it up on the website. It's going strong. I wanna be the next George Takai, if that means anything. <laughs> without, yeah. Without being Sulu? Yeah, without, being, without having to go, oh my, every time. Okay, and uh, now are there any other upcoming projects you can talk about at this time that you want fans to know about? I actually am kind, no, I, I'm, I'm even. Right now it's, uh, I've put a lot of force behind In His Likeness since it switched over to In His Likeness Universe. Um, the Amatsu storyline, which is currently the big evil Japanese god, he's taken over the entire comic. Um, he's gonna be there for another couple of pages. Um, but working on book, I wanna book three ready for next year, uh, which is telling the archive. And I'll probably put um, another, I wanna put the, the other coloring book. Lots of little things. So there's lots of little things that I put on the back burner that I'm not going to promise anything because when I promise, I fail. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take all these little, th I have a half finished comic book, uh, rather coloring book featuring Lucy that has been waiting in the sidelines. So I really want to get to some projects I never finished. And I think this year for a decade of dots, I'm going to take all these half finished great ideas and complete them. 
All right, cool. And now, is there any way fans can keep up with you? Obviously, on inhislikeness.com and thevoxhole.com. And uh, a final message for all your great fans that have been supporting you for the past 10 years. <laughs> if there are any of you who have been here since 10 years, I'm sorry. Um, you can find me on, of course, the websites. The In His, like the In His Likeness Facebook page uh, is very interactive. It's the inhislikeness.disciples. Uh, you can find it through the webpage. I would say if, if you want to find where I start, go there. I friend everybody on Facebook. I'm, I'm very vocal. I have a good time. Uh, the Dot Disciples page is currently run by Amatsu Mikaboshi, the evil god. And my other characters sometimes chime in. Um, but if anybody wants to reach out to me, I'm very responsive to fans. I love talking to people about narrative and story and mythology, anything. Or just like goofy comic books and horror movies, because that's my other world. So I'm on the internet. I'm easy to get. Yes, you are, and we appreciate it. Thanks so much for coming out here and hanging with us. Thank you so much. Thank you for the candy. Of course. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>